making a video today going over the HP Chromebook 11A G8 models. Sorry for the background noise that there are servers in the back and it's frowned upon if I shut them off so hopefully it's not too disturbing so I will try to make it quick and to the point. So this uh, Chromebook here some problems we're seeing with them is, well, the actual D problem we're seeing with it is dark screens. Um, it may be a little bit lighter than this, but you're not able to see the background. The backlight's not bright at all. So here's a fix that we came by that has a good chance of actually fixing it. It's a potential fix. I tell you, yes, it's gonna fix it and it doesn't, but there's two main problems with them. So, in order to do this, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, six screws, let's see, you got one, two, and three, one, two, and three there. Take those screws out. Then here I use a, it's a little spud bar here. So, nothing too fancy, a small screwdriver will work. This one just has a, a wider tip to it, so it does kind of help out on that nature. What I do is kind of work around the seams here. Be careful that the motherboard is below this. So what I do is try to pop it up here, make my way around. That popping noise is normal. And you're just working your way around. Doing. And once you get it coming off, all right. So there is ribbon connectors and stuff back here, as you can tell. And also, it's another fix I could tell you guys about too. But this one here is regarding the screen. All right. So if you do have problems with the screen being dark. Here's a problem that we found. I'm gonna take you off the stand here and show you. So, this dude right here, it's the actual, this connector here, it actually runs up to the frame and behind this bezel and connects to the screen itself. So a lot of times, sometimes you can do is you can actually push that connector, pull that connector in, and it'll actually resolve the problem. But what I usually do is pull this connector out it's very simple to do you just pull back on it it comes out and push it back in and that has a, a good chance of fixing your problem honestly and your screen will light up the other fix to that it's either one or the two sometimes it's the screen but not very likely is it in hard parts that we see so it's this actual connector here or not the connector but this cable it's the cable that actually runs through here if you take a look you'll see where it's kind of pinched up through here and then it's behind some brackets here so it's it's spends quite a bit of its life crushed in <clears throat> the constant swivel back and forth so i'm thinking it's just a faulty cable and a lot of those things but this right here though we have seen this this fix it and that and return back so yeah so sometimes like i said you can actually pull, push that in and if your screen comes back on i'll just leave it like that if not i would at least just try to undo the connection here and push it back in the next one that i've seen is if you're having issues with some of your keys not working something i would try would be let's see if i can get on here so You'll see this right here. This connector here, all you have to do is simply lift up this tab and you'll see the white line there and actually push it back in and fold the tab down. Uh, sometimes it will kind of pull out to one side or the other and actually cause half of your keyboard not to work. So I would reset that cable there. If I could do that one-handed, I would for you guys, but all you have to do is just pretty much just lift open the tab, push it back in there, and you'll see that little white mark that's on across that ribbon connector. 
push it back in there till it's flush, push it back down, and boom. That should help resolve those. So these are not guarantee fixes, but these are fixes that we are seeing, that we are doing, that's not costing any money at all. It's just pretty much the cables are not fully set and we're just pretty much disconnecting them, putting them back in, turn it off and turn it back on. And like I said, that would be something I would try uh, before buying anything. Like I said, it takes you maybe 10 minutes of your day and it actually may resolve the problem. So, alrighty, thank you.